So while we're on the uh, subject of content-aware things and this new stuff in CS5, actually content-aware scale came out in CS4. So let's have a look at that. It's still in CS5, so what we're going to do is go File, Open, and there's that shortcut, Command-O. We just got rid of um, a picture out of an image using content-aware fill, and what we're going to do is go to our desktop and open up our samples folder and I'm going to scroll down until I get to a picture called Portrait. What we're going to do with this is just demonstrate a new feature, or at least a feature that is available in Photoshop now that you can do some really interesting stuff with. Okay, so I've called this image Portrait. You can see that up the top of the uh, document window there. And it's a portrait type shot in terms of the, um, the size of it. So the camera was held on the side. Uh, what I'm going to do is try and use this as content-aware scale and make it look more like it was a um, landscape shot. I mean, that almost seems impossible by looking at it like that. So let's have a go and we'll see how we're going to do this. So first things first, um, what I have to do over here in the, um, back in the layers panel here, zoom in on this over here, here's our layers panel, is I'm going to unlock it, we know how to do that, double click, we can name it if we want to, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go OK. We just need it to not be a background. So we've got that, and that means that's a layer. And what I'm going to do is actually show you a feature where you can add some more canvas here so that I've got some canvas for this to move into because we want to make it kind of portrait. Um, under the image menu, you've got this thing called uh, canvas size. We're going to come back to this a bit later as well. And as you can see up here, it's the width is 8 and the height is 10. What I'm going to do is add half to that. So we'll go 16. And I'm going to click here. Um, and the reason that I'm doing that is that if I've got this one grayed out, then the new canvas, this extra 8 centimeters of width, is going to go that way. So I'm just going to go OK to that, and you'll see exactly what's happened there. OK, so we've got a double. And what we want to do is take this and make it sort of fit more that shape. It's not going to get to exactly that shape, but um, yeah, you'll see. So we've done transform. So what I'm going to do here is actually um, show you what would happen if I tried to transform that into that kind of shape. So edit, transform, and would use scale. And if I just pull that down and across like that, there we go. I'll double click that and say yes I'm happy with that, but am I happy with that? No, I'm not happy with that. That just looks like someone has scaled the image down and stretched it all out. So it's not nice, not nice at all. Okay, so I'm just going to go Command Z to that. And this is a new feature in CS4 and obviously it's in CS5 as well. And what it is is called uh, Content Aware Scale. And for certain things it could be great. All right, I'm not sure how many, how often you use it, but let's just have a look at it, and you can make that decision for yourself. So, instead of going Edit Transform, which is what we have been doing, we're going to go Edit Content Aware Scale. Now, this is high processing stuff from Photoshop. And what's going to happen here is it's going to look at the image and compress it whilst uh, trying to maintain objects that it can see, um, you know, stand out couple of uh, bits and pieces you've got up here, if I just go up here, leave the amount to 100% because that's going to really, really, really try to uh, minimize the distortion. So the more or the higher the amount there, the better. Protect, you've got nothing else in there, so that's fine. And this one, if you're doing this with a picture of a person, you can uh, set it to protect skin tones, and that way it'll try and see people and uh, not scale those. But for now, we'll leave that off. So we'll go like this, I'll zoom back out. So it's different to transform, we've got content aware scale. And if I just pull this down, just take a look at what happens. I'll zoom in on it a wee bit more so that you can see exactly what's going on here. I grab the handle and I'm just going to push that down. And watch what's happening. See, it's bringing it on down, but what's happening to it? Photoshop seeing stuff and compressing it. Note that this gull hasn't changed at all. I'll push it down a bit more. And now it's finally starting to squish the thing. So I'll pull it up a wee bit more like that. And now it's going to struggle a bit more with this, I would imagine. But let's have a look. And I'll stretch that across like that. 
But note what's happening there. It's taking the old seagull with it and it's not stretching him out. So I'll go along a wee bit more. Okay, I can just sense a wee bit of distortion here now. And pull that down a wee bit more. It's really, really dealing to those uh, bits and pieces there. I'll try pushing this one up, see what that does. Okay, I'm just going to push that up a bit more to get a little bit more of that back. And I'm pushing this particular handle so that it hopefully compresses a wee bit more there. Okay, and I'll pull it out a wee bit more here. And I reckon that's pretty amazing. I'm just going to go double click on there or go yes, the tick up the top there. It's going to have a good think about this because like I say, this is really full on processor hungry. And look at that. That is just quite incredible as far as I'm concerned. So you've taken an image that was shot in a portrait manner and turned it into um, a landscape type picture. What I'm going to do is actually show you this other wee command which is good. We've got all this excess canvas here. Really short little command there is under image. Scroll down, scroll down here till trim. And what we're going to do is trim away all transparent pixels. Go OK. Bang. Done. Like that. And there it is. How's that? So we've got a portrait image that started off as a lands, uh, sorry, landscape image that started off as portrait. So let's go back and see what it looked like when we started. And I'll just pull this down so we can do the old before after thing. So there's the start point. There's the end point. So I'll go back a couple of times and I'll go wow to myself because that is pretty well. So we started there, ended up there. How's that? And this guy looks pretty good.